Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited for this video because it's a live swatch interview video and it feels like it's been a really long time since I've done one of these on my channel. So China Glaze was kind enough to send me over the Trolls World Tour collection based on the new movie that is set to come out. Um, I'm not sure when it's actually coming out because I know movie theaters around me have shut down and I know a lot of places and a lot of countries have shut down their movie theaters and unfortunately this is a crazy time in history, very unprecedented, and I hope that you all are staying safe and healthy and well. But we can still enjoy looking at some fun nail polish colors, and you can buy these online at any online real retailer. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into these fun summer colors. This first shade is called Funky Beat, and this is a bright electric purple. Whenever I see colors like this, I'm always kind of hesitant because a lot of times they're super sheer. This one is kind of sheer, but you can also see that it covers really nicely. It's not really streaky, so I definitely think this one will be completely opaque in two coats. It self-levels really, really nicely, and it's super easy to work with. The formula is absolutely beautiful. So here's the second coat. The first coat dried really fast. And the second coat does cover completely in two coats. I do tend to do pretty thin coats. I would say that my thicker coats though, are, or my second coats are usually thicker. Just a little bit, but thin coats will make sure that the polish dries nice and evenly. And then once it dries nicely, it tends not to chip as fast. So there are two coats of Funky Beat. This shade is called Pink and Poppy, and this is a really fun, bright, almost Barbie pink shade with lots of glitter. And this is probably going to be more of a textured polish, so this one will probably be a little more difficult to remove, just keeping that in mind, but this would be so much fun to wear, especially in the summer when the sun is nice and bright, so the sparkles will really shine. The first coat covers really, really nicely, and I think this one will be completely opaque in two coats. Here's the second coat. So this one does cover completely in two, and the second coat just kind of makes the color more true to what is seen in the bottle. But again, a really fun shade. I think if I was a little bit younger, like in middle school, I think I definitely would have loved this one. But this one I can see incorporating in some nail art, too. So there are two coats. This shade is called No Holds Barb. And this is a bright red with a lot of pink undertones. Kind of like a jelly polish. So if you're not familiar with jelly polishes, these are these sheer polishes that you can do a lot of fun nail art techniques with layering using these. This one might end up taking three coats to become fully opaque because it does kind of have that more sheer uh, formula to it, but I still think you can build it up to be opaque, but you can also kind of play around with the sheerness of it and do some like jelly sandwich manicures, things like that. So this one is really fun. So here's the second coat. And this one is actually pretty much completely opaque in two coats. But if you look really closely, you still can see my nail line a little bit. However, I'm not totally picky, so I'm going to say that it's completely opaque in two coats. So maybe I was just doing a really thin coat, and that's what made it more of that jelly-like formula. But still, a really pretty, fun color, perfect for summer. This polish is called Delta Darlin', and this is a fun, bright, peachy shade. This one has a really great creamy formula. As you can see, it's covering really, really nicely. And it self-levels nicely, too. This is such a pretty shade for spring and summer. So there's the first coat. Here's the second coat. And as you can see, the second coat covers very nicely. I really love creamy shades like this, 
because you can always play around with some nail art, but you can also just leave them plain, and I think they're really fun for the nicer weather that we have coming up, hopefully, soon. And there's two coats. This polish is called It's All Techno, and honestly, this was the one that I was most excited to swatch. It's a bright electric lime green. I was really excited because green is my favorite color, and I just think green nail polishes are really, really fun and unique. This one is covering really, really nicely. It is a tad bit sheer, which is to be expected from a neon polish like this one, but it is covering nicely, and it seems like it's self-leveling decently, so I'm pretty sure this one will be opaque in two coats. And it's looking a little more yellow on camera, but it definitely is more of like a greeny yellow. Here's the second coat. And this one is completely opaque in two coats. And it dries super fast as well. And I think this color is so fun. Definitely the second coat makes it look a little bit more green, more true to the color that you see in the bottle. And this one will be really fun for spring and summer and incorporated in nail art. This polish is called Can't Stop. And this is a muted teal turquoise polish. I always get those two colors mixed up. They're very similar to me in my mind. And honestly, right off the bat, this one is reminding me of the China Glaze polish for Audrey. If anyone has that polish from way back, it's one of my original China Glaze polishes. I'll see if I can find it and compare them to each other, but there's the first coat. It covers really nicely. So here's the second coat. This one dried really, really fast, and it's drying almost as a matte polish, if you can see that. I'm not sure if that is really what's supposed to happen. <laughs> I couldn't find my bottle of Four Audrey. I know that I have it somewhere, but I've actually been thinking about doing a dupes video because I don't really have much else to do during my time of self-isolation. This one does cover completely in two coats with more of a matte finish. So really pretty. Again, perfect for spring and fun for nail art. This polish is called Chill In. And this is a sheer blue based polish with some blue iridescent flecks of glitter. So really pretty. Obviously this one is a sheer polish and I don't know that it will build up to be completely opaque. But this is going to be a fun one to put over some of your polishes to give it a unique look, like a black or a white. Or even a blue polish just to give it some sparkle. So there's the first coat. So here's the second coat, and you can see that this one did dry down completely matte, which is super cool. Because it gives it almost, I don't know, like a frosted look. So I'm really, really loving how this dries down. I am going to try to do three coats and see how opaque I can build this one, but it honestly looks really cool just one coat over your natural nail. I think that looks really cool. But here's two coats and you can see that the color is building up quite a bit, so I will see what three coats can do. So here is three coats. And if you're not too, too picky, this one is pretty much completely opaque in three coats. You can still see my nail line a little bit. Like I said, it is a very sheer polish. But if you're not too picky, this is definitely completely, in my opinion, pretty much completely opaque in three coats. But definitely fun to layer this polish. Put it over a darker color, a lighter color, a blue color, really anything you wanted to, play it up. And that it dries matte is super cool, so you could really have a really interesting effect. Last but not least is Glitterific, and as you can see, this polish really is Glitterific, and if you guys know me, if you've followed my channel long enough, you know I love a good holographic polish. This one is kind of just your basic silver holographic polish, so if you are in the market for one, you can already tell this is fantastic. It covers really nicely on the nail. You can see it's almost completely opaque, which is kind of unheard of for a glitter polish like this, so it's going to be really useful for creating accent nails, nail art, glitter gradients, things like that. Honestly, a really fantastic polish and super easy to work with too. I am really obsessed with how glittery and holographic this polish is and the fact that it is 
completely opaque as a glitter polish in two coats is honestly unheard of and amazing. Again, super easy to work with. So I highly recommend this polish. Like I can already tell this is my new favorite silver holographic polish. And China Glaze is usually at a really great price. So you're definitely getting a bang for your buck. So that's it for my live swatch and review video of this collection. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I think these colors are really fun and bright, perfect for spring and summer. Again, you can purchase these online anywhere um, in case stores around you have closed temporarily. Um, but yeah, again, I hope you're staying safe, healthy, and well. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite polish is, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.